so here's another problem, but it's with Leibniz notation. So let's try to get used to it. Um, all right, so sometimes um, you will see a line right here. Okay, what this is saying is saying take the derivative of the function g with respect to t at t equals 1. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of g and then plug in 1 to see what the slope is right there. Yeah, see, it's the same thing that we've been doing. It's just written all weird. So you've got to get used to this notation, like I said. We're taking the derivative of function g with respect to t. Now, we should have a function g. Oh, yeah, we do. And there's a variable t inside of it. Now, this is called explicit differenti different differentiation. differentiation because it has one variable in here. We're explicitly taking the derivative of the function g. Okay, so let's, um, let's get down with this. Um, so to take uh, the derivative of this, it's going to look like this. Uh, we have dg over dt, and we're going to take that derivative of, let's see, um, let's see, d over dt of this whole thing. So it's negative t, wait, no, it's not negative, that's a positive. Sorry, positive t to the negative 3 plus 2. Now I'm going to change this one to be a, uh, to one half power because it makes our lives a little easier. Minus t raised to the, is that a negative 4 over 5? Yeah. Negative 4 over 5. Okay. Now when we take the derivative of this, you have to take, we got to take the derivative of each term. So it's kind of like this. You kind of like it going d over dt of t to the negative 3. And you're going d over dt of 2t to 1 half. And you're going, let's see, minus d over dt. Now we could say plus and just say this is a negative t to the negative 4 over 5. Okay? Wow, that's a lot of d over dt's. Now this is saying take the derivative of this. Take the derivative of this. Take the derivative of this. Okay, so let's do the, the, the t first, the t to the negative 3. That's going to be negative 3, because I took the negative 3 and dropped him. That would be t raised to the what power? Negative 4. Yeah, negative 4, because negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Okay, and then we have the next one. We've got to take the derivative of this guy. Um, so that's going to be, what's 1 half of 2? It's so just t Multiply squared. this times 1 half. What is that? One. That's one. So I'm gonna put a one there just so just you know for learning's sake. And then I have one half minus one, which would be negative one half. Right? Right? Okay. And then we have plus then we have this guy right here. We're gonna drop this guy to the here and multiply it to the negative one that's in front of it. What is a negative one? That's negative one right here. What's negative one times negative four fifths? Four fifths T. Oh now this one's weird. I gotta take this and subtract one. I'm gonna go ahead and write this out on the side just to make sure I don't lose anybody. So minus one, which would be five over five. Negative nine over five. So we have negative nine over five. And now let's see if we can manipulate this to make it look a little nicer. Now technically, you're done with the derivative. This is uh, dg over dt. And those of you guys who like the prime way better, this would be g prime of t. Okay, so we're, there's different ways to write it. You can write it like this, or you can write it like this. Both are exactly the same. Just a different way to write it. They both serve different purposes. But anyways, so let's finish uh, manipulating this to see if we can make it look a little nicer. We can write this one as negative 3 over t to the fourth. So now the exponent's positive. And we can write this one as 1 over t to the one half, but since it's to the one half, you can change it to the square root if you want to. Instead of saying one half, you can say the square root. Plus, this one uh, would be four over five t to the nine over five. Ew. Yeah, okay, this is not looking that much nicer, huh? Okay, let's just leave it like that. Let's just stop with that. Okay, let's... um. Let's take our, our derivative right here and plug in that t so that we can find our answer, okay? Oh, yay, it's 1. Ha, that's great. So we're going to have a negative 3 over 1 raised to the 4th plus 1 over the square root of 1 plus 4, 
5 times 1, which is being raised to the ninth power, and then we're taking the fifth root of that. Yeah. Okay, let's let's simplify this. What's this one become? Negative 3. And the next one becomes? 1. And then this one? Yay, that 9 over 5 doesn't even matter. So we have plus 4 fifths. Our answer is... So that's going to be 2, negative 2. Dang it, negative 2 plus 4 over 5, which equals negative 1 and 1 fifths. Can you write this as an improper fraction? Absolutely. All right, it's the same thing. Um, it was also asked, uh, what happened to that 9 over 5? Well, let me review for you. That 9 is the power, and that 5 is the root. Well, 1 to the ninth power is just 1, and the fifth root of 1 is just 1. So that's why the 9 over 5 didn't matter. It just goes away because of the 1. Thank goodness that this was a 1 right here. Um, but that's it. That's your answer. That is the slope of this function at t equals 1.